You can call me only if you are a Muslim. If you are not, I will not take your call. All right? Don't call me unless you are a Muslim. We want everybody to see how silly this cult is from the mouth of the Muslims. Okay, this guy is a Muslim. Yes, Abdul. Uh, hello, my name is Burak, not Abdul. Your name is Burak. What do you know? What, what Burak mean? Yes, I know. What? But it's not about my name yet. Right? What, what Burak mean? It is the thing that brought the Prophet to the mighty Allah. What is that thing? Sorry? What is that thing? Oh, you can look it up. I think you are wise enough to know where no, you Why you don't tell it? me this is your name? Okay, so you have a name, you do not know what it is. So so that thing who took Muhammad to, to, to up to the sky. What is that thing? You said the thing. Is that a van? What does that mean? What al it is not it is not really described because I think we couldn't even imagine what it is. No, it described. It says he is a smaller than a bigger than a donkey and smaller than a mule. Yeah, so you okay, know, so he's an animal. You can tell, like, he's an animal, why right? Are you asking me, is it like okay? So he's an animal. He is an... myself first before I can speak to you, or what's the thing? Yeah, no it? problem. But we are having a conversation, my friend. We have time. It's okay. Come on, we are having coffee <laughs> together. Take coffee. Relax. So he is a he is a smaller than a mule and bigger than a donkey. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Do you agree that Muhammad he went really to the heaven in the top of a mule? No. W what do you mean, like? Can you repeat this? How you you are the one who told me that Al Buraq is the one who took Muhammad to heaven, right? Yes. Okay. How he took him to heaven? Somehow, like mm. I can you imagine like uh, quantum physics? You know? No, I cannot imagine. Can you tell me he's a donkey anyway. What a quantum physics? He's not a spaceship. He's a donkey. So oh, it's better than a spaceship. I think. I think it's some kind of a ship that. How? That if you would see it, you would like burn to dust, like okay, you know? okay. So, oh, if you see this, uh, this mule, you are going to be burn, burned to dust. No, I didn't say that. I, I, I said, I think if you try to imagine it, you can like come close to it or you can see it, then it must be something so fantastic that maybe let me change my words, but maybe you would wish to burn to death because. Wow. It's all about what you're saying. That's you know? nice. Okay, let me ask you now. As uh, long, so you, do you believe this is a physical uh, uh, donkey, or it's uh, it's not really a real story? Do you believe this is a really a physical thing? Um, yeah, must be somehow physical, but can be also something else. Okay. Now, when your prophet you describe him that he is between the size of a donkey and a mule, was he mistaken or he was imagining? I think that. He wasn't mistaken. Okay, it says here in front of me. This is Sahih Muslim. I was brought Al Burak, who is an animal, white and long, lang longer than a donkey, but a smaller than a mule. Okay. Okay. Well, here, there is a question here about the color. Why he's white? This donkey. I don't know. Like, okay, because I because the, nobody that. allowed to go to heaven, even if it's donkey, if he's a black, you have to be white. That's number one. Number two. It is any witnesses for your prophet when he went to the seven heaven eleven. So, if there's anybody saw a donkey come into Muhammad, knocking at his door, his name is Mr. Al Burak. Muhammad he jump in the top of him, and then this donkey he fly to the sky. Did anyone see that story? I don't think so. Okay, why always Muhammad he have things nobody saw. Yesterday, I am a Middle Eastern, because as you know. Let me tell I you something. Think... Let me tell you a story happened to me, and this is a true story. Uh, once I was uh, sleeping in the roof of my father in his house, and a big mule came to the roof, 
and he said, mm -hmm. I woke up and I jumped in the top of him and he took me to Mars and he brought me back to Vietnam. And then from Vietnam, we went to the next poor country, which is called Brazil. And from Brazil, we went to the next country in the border, it's called the France. And then in our way back, we went to Jerusalem. And in Jerusalem, we took some coffee. And then in, in, in Jerusalem, I told him, I am really bored. I want to change the, 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 the taste of my mouth. So we decided to go to a, a border a, a country, it's called America. Do you believe in my story? I don't. Okay, because, so why uh, you believe in this story? Because, okay, you know why I believe this story? I think mm. the answer is obvious. But I want to ask you something else. You're a Christian, mm. right? Yes. So if you make fun about this story, mm. we could also, like an atheist, atheist could mm. also make so much fun about the stories in the Bible yeah, or the but things you, see, you, are, okay, believe, no you are believing in. No, no problem. But you, you know? see, but you see, all things happen in the Bible. It's there's witnesses, people. They are witnessing the story. So let us say, maybe now I did not witness it, but at that time there is people who see things. As an example, Jesus, he made the blind see. He did not see it, it was and, secretly. And right? how can you be sure that this is true? No, no problem. You can say, but you know, here we are talking about. Uh, uh, still, a story happened in front of witnesses. It's not a guy claiming same things and nobody saw. This is what I'm so talking about. So you believe in witnesses two thousand years ago, but you don't believe. Yeah, but you remember what happened here. You believe in a person. He have no witness. Even his wife, she did not see that. Yes, but okay. It's so not, how it's not so, on me to okay, judge. Let, let right me ask there. you. Let no me ask you. Is it not, is it know? possible? Is it possible that Muhammad he was uh, uh, illusionate? He he imagined things that are happening, but in fact they are not. Um, let me say it like this it could be possible mm. sure but I surely like believe that it's not because okay. I you know why why I'm, surely why surely you believe it's not what you just say the word surely and surely you know the magic you, I tell you why oh. because the same reason why I think you believe in God mm. is that you know you see all these beautiful things in life and how wonderful and fantastic everything is mm. maybe you see Mm. how great the universe is and everything yeah and you know the message that came to me is muhammad mm. and there is so so much proven things also for me like what that this is the like what when, oh, when, muhammad, right now, when because, muhammad he said in the quran that allah he made the jews pigs and monkeys is that something beautiful or this is something silly and stupid um you can call it whatever you want but let me tell you like this mm. the quran and the the message of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is so mm. diverse, and you can always search for those things to make fun about. To no, I don't want to make fun. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let us, let us you can change. always take these things, my friend, where you can say it's about war, it's about this, it's okay. about that, and it's fun. Let and us, it's let us, sense. let us mean. But and, also, there's so much more, and you mm. can take this. And okay. my friend, like. It's one one second. I will finish soon. Hmm. The thing is, okay. you will find whatever you are looking for in this book Correct. or in this message. Correct. So the question is not about like what is in it. The question is, what are you looking for? Hmm. And what are you looking for? Me, I don't. I'm not looking for it. I receive okay, what the make message you, and what I'm make you believe? It. Okay, I, I will go with you. What make you believe that Muhammad is a prophet? Can you give me the prophecy of the prophet? Mm, there are a lot of things, I think. Like what? Give me one. What do you mean? Like You see, when I say I'm a prophet, it means I prophesy. When I say I'm a doctor, that means I do uh, medicine. When I say I'm a writer, that means I wrote books. When I say I'm an engineer, that means I do engineering. Okay, now you call him a prophet. That is his profession. Now, what is the prophecy your prophet? You, you, can, call, you can call me naive or like, I don't know how, but the message has come to me, so I don't have to question it, you know. No, I'm, no, no, this is not a question. You I'm see, following you're it. Trying, you know, you're I'm trying to speak to me I'm in your own this, logic, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. You said yes. to me, a message came to me from Muhammad, right? Okay, the message is what? He is a prophet, so prophet, he prophesied. What the prophecy he gave you? Like, I, so much things. Like, even when I do my prayers, give me one. I, I give, give, me a, give me a prophecy, you know my I mean? friend. Give me a prophecy he gave you. How he called him prophet, but he have no prophecy. What do you mean with prophecy? You, do you, you know don't, his don't you know what prophecy mean? Don't you know what prophecy? Prophecy is telling me something nobody knows, said by God to him or to the prophet. Correct? Sorry again, please. Prophecy is God telling me something 
because the real prophet is God. He is the one who prophesy about the future. This is the future, the unseen. So you're a prophet or something happened now, but nobody knows about it still. So, ah, okay. Okay, so uh, what, it's, what it's is the prophecy so of your prophet? Like, like, like what? Like, I don't know, the simplest thing coming to my mind is um, about the the small and the big things that are going to happen when the world is going to an end, you know? Small and big what? Uh, the small and big things, I don't know how to call it, but um the, like the the coming of Jaddal or i don't know come on uh, man. the coming and the the jail i mean what the jail muhammad he described the, the okay if we talk about it your prophet he described at the jail to look like allah how you accept that i don't know but it's what maybe do you mean something you know? I mean, my friend, like i'm you, asking you how how at the jail is he a man or he is not a man i think he's something that pretends to look like a man so he's what oh look i don't i don't want to get deeper in this dajjal thing but the, okay my the friend let us go back to zero let's we, go back we to were zero. talking about like okay let's go back to zero of muhammad you have no did, give me a prophecy did, you know he he said so many things about uh about the mankind that happened and he said that like like 1400 what? years like ago what? like what give me one do you want to start like one? like uh, there will be I don't know uh, the most uh, rich people will come from the desert or something like that I really think he said, said that oh, okay uh -huh. mm -hmm. for example but there are thousands of exam maybe hundred or thousand maybe ten thousand I don't even know really mm -hmm. but every time I get some I believe in it for sure you know it's it's not a thing about question mm. okay so, uh, you know when you're a prophet who is a prophet Kiss a black stone. Is that something his God told him, or he like he have a hobby to kiss stones? I don't know where this is coming from, but I believe that if he kiss some stones, there must be some uh, something about it. Mm. Okay. Mm. You're a prophet, he said. I asked Masjid of Allah about the uh, uh, the. Pestilence. I don't know if I'm saying the word correctly. It's a disease, you know, kill many people. He said it's a punishment which Allah He sent upon who is ever He wills. Is that right? Sorry, can you repeat it? The 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 the, the Blake, the Blake, according to your prophet, Allah He sent it only for those people who heed them. Is that correct? The Blake? Hmm. What is it? In the hadith it says that that Allah He sent the Blake. On the nations who Allah decide to punish them. Okay, what does the word "blake" mean? Uh, it's a disease, can you know, kill people. You know, like it's like a let us say it's like a flu, but it's very bad. You know, it kill you very fast. Okay, it's and a, what was the hadith? Be, it can be spread. Okay, what? What was the hadith? The hadith says that Allah He punish people who they have such a disease. This is a punishment from Allah. And your prophet, he says that such a disease will never enter the city of Al Medina or Mecca. Okay. Okay. But people they die because of this disease in Mecca and Al Medina. Okay. Okay. So it's... how how Allah how in the Hadith says Allah He punished those who have a plague. It's a punishment, and then He says that the one who die by the plague he is a murderer for Allah. Okay. There, I I I never said like that everything. Uh, must be like for like 100 percent correct because mm. you know maybe this was about something else or mm. i don't know um mm. i want you to go right let, now let, and me, search. let me let me let me ask let you. Hold, me, on, hold on hold on you can okay. go right now you can go and search right now did the plague enter the city of medina you will find yes and many times when muhammad he says that allah also said neither the messiah at the jail the false messiah nor the plague will enter the city of Medina. He's a liar. How you can say but, he's a prophet? Here we go. He prophesied that okay, the plague but, will never enter the Medina. But maybe when we die, we will find out that this thing will clarify. You know what I mean? What do you like, mean? They enter already the Medina. He said it's not. It's he not said, black and said, white. He said, my friend. He said neither the false Messiah, neither the plague will enter the Medina. And you can go right now to the Saudi government website and you can check. How many cases of a plague is happening in the city of Medina's and uh, the, the, the report of death? So Muhammad in history, and you will see that Muhammad here is a false prophet. Okay, that, that can be true, but mm. it's still not a reason, you know, 
to say that the whole religion is no it's a reason because if, like I, if I claim to be a prophet and you prove me saying a lie that's mean I'm a false man what do you mean it's not uh, not not enough to prove oh I mean I mean maybe we just understand it wrong because there can be no here we go here we go explain, explain explain to or me. something like Our that friend, oh, it's, very, it's very simple it's a plague it's we know what it is he promised it's not going to enter the city of Medina what understand you wrong it's very simple here we go in front of us what what exactly is a plague it's a disease. I, really don't I don't know what's your language. What is the language you understand? German. Okay, take the word and translate to German. P L A G U E. Translate. I don't know what is in German. Ah, it's a plague. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think I know it. Um, maybe he was talking about some specific plague. And, you know. It, no, my friend, this is the only one that people know. People die by it by thousands, by millions through history. So it used to kill, you know, uh, Europe suffer from it, Middle East suffer from it, Jerusalem suffer from it, uh, Saudi Arabia suffer from it, you know. Okay, so I have no answer for this, but now I want to ask you something. Ask me something. What is your real problem with, with the Islam? Islam? Well, Islam is a very filthy cult spreading violence and hate, and it destroy uh, all countries I know. And where I'm coming from, my country is destroyed because of Islam. As simple as that. Do you, is it a problem for you or not? People no, it's not. Okay, I can not. truly understand that it's all right. Okay. But um, I know that people told you this often, but you also know that it's not about the Islam that brings hatred to really? places. Do you have the you know, do you have Maybe the people can utilize it, mm. but uh, that also happened with Christianity. So mm. we we go and say, oh, okay, let's just rip off Christianity because it brought so many people death. Mm. Mm. Okay, here we go. We have Quran. Do you have a Quran with you? Yes. Okay, read for me chapter 5 verse 14, if you don't mind. Oh, I do mind because I don't want to read it right now. Why not? Because I read it in German. Read it in German, no problem. No, I don't want, sorry. It's okay, I, un I understand German. You know? Yes, but I just don't want to read it now. I speak all well. languages except except the language you understand. So I'm like your prophet. I speak all languages except the one you know now. So now you read it in your language. It says that Allah, he spread hate and enmity between the Christians. One to each other. And you are the one saying to me, there's some people, they use it for their own agenda. But your God, Allah himself, he's saying, I am the God who like to spread hate. Are you against hate, my friend? Or you are you support hate? I am against hate. Okay, so sure. how you support Allah then? If Allah is saying, I'm going to spread the hate and enmity between the Christians. So what we um, do now? Look, even like even if he didn't say that, hmm. even today we would have, it's not we even. Would, we would have hate, it's, right? It's, okay, no, no, no. So he, he tells us no, that no. Okay, hold on. But, 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 but here we have a problem. For a bigger reason. So but, okay, but but I don't question it. My, my friend, what kind of God, if, if, if God is spread hate, Shaitan, he do what then? What is the but job look, of shaitan? But look, but that's the story. Like, even if there wasn't Islam, if even if there were, were living my Muslim friend, whatever, I don't care. You keep running from the question. You keep running. You keep, ru you keep running. You keep running. We are talking here about someone who claimed to be God. Don't tell me if there's no Islam, there's Islam. You will say to me, there's hate. No, Allah says that the hate is exists because He spread it. And this, this is your book. So stop okay. playing a game. I don't know. I don't it's care. Okay. I have no I, idea. I tell you, look. I, mm. It's for me, okay. Mm. Maybe there must be hate, but and even if I think it's so bad and stuff, mm. but maybe it, it is for a high reason and it is for something I will so not understand. It doesn't matter now. what I say to you. Let's let 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 make it simple. Let's make it simple. Now. Whatever and I you know, say to you, you know, also we don't live for no. this life. Okay, you live for that. Yeah, thank you very much. I have no time for kids' talk because obviously, whatever you say to me, okay, I don't know. You know, you know, you know, you know but you give me no answer a second ago you were speaking against hate the second I showed you that this is the Quran teaching hate suddenly you have no problem with it you give me a speech about hate if this is what Allah you do shaitan he's doing what exactly what is the job of shaitan right now you must have me believe in shaitan so if Allah is the one who spread hate shaitan is doing what he's watching He's saying to Allah, good job. Good job, Allah, good job. Good job. What is that? 
the one who should spread hate is shaitan shaitan should say i will spread hate and enmity between them but this is god so god he spread the hate and shaitan is saying to Allah, he's learning from him. Good job, Allah, good job. I'm learning. Keep going. So what you say to me, I have no problem with it. No, I don't want to read it. Why you don't want to read it? Violence. Isn't it the Quran says go and kill the Christians and kill the Jews unless they pay you money to live? Pay or die. That is Islam. So what do you mean? Do you, why you have a problem with Islam? Islam want to kill me. If Muslim took over, pay or die. And you are telling me what is the problem? What kind of religion? What kind of cult? It says to a human being just because you don't agree with them, pay or die. And what kind of a prophet? If you pay him, he have no problem. He will let you live and not to worship his God. If worshiping Jesus is a big sin, how come it's not a big sin no more if I pay him? So now you Muslims, you have no problem if we pay you? And the word mafia is coming from this, pay or die. When the Muslims occupy Sicily, the people of Sicily, they learned that from the Muslims. When the Muslims left, the, the gang took over because people used to pay to live, pay or die. And this is where the old mafia is coming from. Family business, pay or die. The word assassin is coming from Muslims. Pay or die is coming from the Muslims. And this is coming from the Quran, as you see. And then you say to you, what's your problem? <clears throat> right? What if America now, what if Trump, he announced today, we will give you 10 minutes, Muslims, either you pay or you die. What you will say about Trump, you will see how evil, how disgusting, but he will force you to pay because you have no choice. But this is your God. Pay or die. Not only you pay, you have to pay with humiliation. You have to be humiliated. Somebody says, uh, CP don't appear his face. Your God don't appear his face. The Quran says that Allah, he never speak unless he speak from behind the veil. Burqa. So how come you don't ask the same question you asked me to Allah? Why you want to see my face? If I show you my foot, is that fine? You are terrified of me and I am not showing my face. What if I show my face? What will happen to you? You will die. Hmm? The Muslim cannot answer me. They say, show your face. <laughs> Why you don't ask Allah to show his face? Muhammad, he never spoke to Allah. He never heard the fart of Allah. Shouldn't at least Muhammad speak to his God at least once? Hello? Allah spoke to Shaitan. Allah spoke to Moses. Allah spoke to, to Isa. Allah spoke to Abraham. Allah spoke to Adam. Allah spoke uh, uh, to everybody, to the angels, but he will not speak to Muhammad. Why? And the Muslims, they say that the favorite creature for Allah is Muhammad, yet Allah don't want to speak to him. He sent him a delivery guy. His name is Jibreel. Hey, Jibreel, how are you, brother? And later we find that Jibreel, he looked exactly like his boyfriend, Dahiel Kalbi. Why? Even the delivery boy of Allah, Jibreel, he looked like the boyfriend of Muhammad who spent the whole night with Muhammad and Muhammad tried to cover his ass. Why this guy, he stayed all night with him. He told him, this is Jibreel. You want to see the reference? We don't make things up like you Muslims. Here we go. Muhammad, he never met Jibreel. He met a guy, his name is Dahil Kalbi. And this is his boyfriend, and he was the most handsome boy in the town. 
and this is the same person Muhammad he sent to the king of Jerusalem convert or die Dahya Kalbi why he chose him because he is the most handsome between all the people of the Arab in his time and this is why the angel is coming in the shape of Dahya Kalbi Allah could not find a better shape except Dahya Kalbi and now we have in town two Jibreel we have the real Dahya Kalbi and the fake Dahya Kalbi <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.